Hi, it's Anastasia here from kindearth.net and this week in my kitchen, due to overwhelming demand and popular request, I am finally going to share my vegan lasagna recipe with a cashew cream sauce on top. So let's go in my kitchen and see exactly how we make it. Right, so get everything tucked in there nicely. Okay, so got my cup of tea. Um, what this is going to be a lasagna that is lentil based. I'm going to post other recipes in the coming weeks or months for alternative veggie lasagnas. And I'm using pui lentils. They're also called dark speckled lentils, and they're tiny lentils that hold their form together really well. So you might have noticed that with other lentils they fall apart if you cook them too long. You can use other lentils in this but just be aware that if you get a pui lentil or dark speckle lentil it's going to hold together its shape really nicely throughout the whole thing and in the meantime it's also going to absorb all the other ingredients just to create a really delicious medley. We're gonna use mushrooms. I normally use brown mushrooms. These are the ones, these are the only organic ones I could get this week, so that is what I'm using. We're gonna have about 200 grams of them. We're gonna have passata, we're gonna have shoyu or tamari, and we're gonna have onion, doesn't matter what color you use. We're gonna have garlic, we're gonna have a little bit of garlic powder in there just for a little bit of je ne sais quoi coriander, ground coriander, black pepper and cinnamon and they are all going to combine into a delightful medley of deliciousness. And then the topping, I'm going to make a cashew cheesy sauce topping. I want something soft. If, if I use a regular cashew sauce that I might use as a, as a dressing or something like that. It tends to solidify and go quite hard on top, but I want a nice creamy sauce in here. So I'm going to, there's actually lots of ways you can make that. I'm going to show you one of the many ways. And again, if you're really interested in different vegan cashew cheesy type sauces, then stay tuned because I will be posting more alternatives, also a cashew free version. Oh, one really other important thing is I'm using gluten free pasta sheets. Now these are oven ready. Oven ready basically means if you've got enough liquid in the rest of the lasagna, then it's gonna absorb into the lasagna sheets and over baking time, it's gonna soften them to perfection. So in today's recipe, I'm using organic green lentil lasagna sheets. You can use any, lasagna sheets that you want. If you're gluten-free, you get a nice organic gluten-free one. If, you, if you're not, you spell or regular wheat. Um, I'm gluten-free, so this is what I'm using today. So you want to chop a medium-sized onion. It really doesn't matter what colour it is. And then you want to take a large garlic clove, just slice the skin off. Just crush it down. Chop it up a bit. You want about 200 grams of mushrooms, which is about that many. You can just guess if you like. And then you want to just chop them up into nice little quarters like that. Right, and the next bit's really easy. All you're going to do is saute your mushrooms and your onion and your garlic if you want to. Right, so you just want to saute that for two, three minutes. And then you want to add your water Ooh. and the rest of the ingredients. That's 500 milliliters of passata, organic ground coriander, and a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a very generous twist of black pepper, and for a nice salty infusion, you want a couple of tablespoons of shoyu or tamari. And then give it a nice mix in and then you want to leave that for about 40 minutes basically until the lentils have cooked nicely all the way through and all the water has been absorbed so you want to give it a nice mix 
several times throughout the cooking process. The alternative is you can just cook it for 15 minutes and then turn it off and then come back a few hours later and it might have actually absorbed all the liquid and done its divine alchemy by that stage. Okay, so while that is simmering away nicely in the background, I wanna make the cashew sauce. So what I'm going to do is I've soaked 75 grams of cashews. You can soak them for an hour. I soak them overnight and then you want to pop them into a blender and you want to take three tablespoons of ground flaxseed. I've just freshly ground this. A quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder just for a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Um, a lot of people seem to do this when they make their cashew sauces, so why not? It actually works really nicely. And then I want to take two smallish lemons and juice them. I'm just going to pop it in my water. And then I need about half... Stay. I need about half a teaspoon of sea salt, or just guess, if you like it a little bit more salty, put it in. Everyone's different, you know, I've worked in different places, different countries. Everyone has a different salt threshold to just feel that one. I put about half a teaspoon in, which tends to be a good balance along with the rest of it. And then you want to blend this up nicely. That's been about a minute. Right, there we go. So it's kind of a lemony cashew sauce. Now, if you like to use nutritional yeast, pop a couple of tablespoons in at this stage. It's just going to give it a nice kind of cheesy sort of edge to it, if you like that. Um, I don't tend to use that, but I know lots of people do, and it is kind of cool. Do a little kitchen dance, have a little sing song, and it'll taste so much better. consistency to it right now and then with this base mixture I want it I want it to have enough liquid in it so that it's going to absorb nicely into the pasta sheets and then I want to chop a nice big handful of parsley and pop it in there so this has been cooking and then sitting for a little while and it's absolutely perfect and it's really interesting to imagine that all these ingredients, which are quite simple ingredients, just do this nice divine alchemy and come out like this, which is the perfect lentil base for a lasagna. And bear in mind, you can add little veggies in there if you want to as well. I'm tripping over me wires. <laughs> so I want to get a nice, medium sized oven dish and this is going to serve about four people i'm going to take six pasta sheets right i'm going to take the mixture and i'm going to get a nice spoon so i can so i don't make a load of mess doing it and i'm just going to spoon some in to baking dish a nice little layer there and then i'm going to pop a nice little layer of spinach leaves on top and they should reduce down when it cooks. Then I'm going to pop a nice little layer of the lasagna saucy lentil stuff on top of that. And then I'm going to pop my pasta sheets in. So if they don't fit perfectly, you just have to snap a bit off. And I use the bits I've snapped off. Pop on the end, and then we're going to pop another layer of the saucy stuff. And just make sure it covers the pasta sheets, and then just a nice little single layer of spinach on there. And then you want to pop the rest of your lasagna base right on top. Spread it out nicely. Remember, you need the liquid from the sauce mixture to absorb into the pasta. So you want to make sure you've got plenty of that and you want to make sure it's just got that right amount of liquid in it. And then I'm going to pop 
just slightly too big, just snap off the end. So I'm gonna get my nice lush sauce and then pour it right on top. Yeah. Cover the whole thing and then just spread it on evenly. This is a lovely sauce with a nice, thick, creamy consistency and a gentle lemony tang. It is a little bit reminiscent of cheese sauce. It's infinitely healthier. So I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So if you want the exact measurement for this recipe and you want um, the exact temperature for the oven and stuff like that, go and check out the recipe on my website, kindearth.net. You get all sorts of other nice little tips and hints on there and you can print the recipe out. So go visit that. And then I'm gonna leave that for about half an hour to bake. Yeah, wow, look at that, baby. All right, so here we go. Let's have a little taste test. Mmm. Oh my goodness gracious me. Mm, that's really good. Mm. So you've got a lovely creamy sauce on top. And then you've got nice, gorgeous layers of all those. Mmm. Infusions. Oh. Mmm, mmm. It just blends and works perfectly. We've got a nice, thick, creamy sauce that kind of runs a little bit and then dances and melds into the whole thing once you serve it. And that makes it absolutely perfect. So I hope that you like what you see here. If you like what you see, come and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be posting loads more stuff. I've got loads more up there already come visit my website kinder.net and let me know how you get on in the comments and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.